Choo Choo and Friends in Story Time. had lots of toys and books that she no longer played with or read. I remember this toy. I used to have so much fun playing with it. And this used to be my favorite book. Since Choo Choo no longer needed the old toys and books, her mother asked her to give them away. Choo Choo, why don't you give your old books and toys away? You don't need them anymore. You can give them to some children who aren't lucky enough to have toys and books of their own. That will make them happy. And it will also make your room much neater. No, Mom. I don't want to give my things away. I want to keep them for myself. Huh? Choo Choo didn't want to give her old toys and books away. Mrs. Charlie hoped that she would change her mind. She knew that the toys and books could be useful to many other children. One day, Mrs. Charlie met Miss Dorothy. She was Choo Choo's favorite teacher. Miss Dorothy? Choo Choo has lots of old toys and books that she doesn't need anymore. I want her to give them away, but she won't listen. Don't worry, Mrs. Charlie. I'm collecting old toys and books for the children who live in foster homes. I'll tell Choo Choo about it. Thank you, Miss Dorothy. So, Miss Dorothy made an announcement in Choo Choo's class. Children, I'm collecting old toys and books. I'll then give them to some children who don't have these things. It would be very generous of you to share your old toys and books with them. If you have anything that you're not using and don't want to waste, please bring it tomorrow. Many of Choo Choo's friends liked Miss Dorothy's idea. I have so many old toys and books that I don't need, Miss Dorothy. I'd like to give them away. Me too! Huh? That's very kind of you, children. Please bring them with you tomorrow. When Choo Choo went home, she looked at her bookshelf. She found that she had many books that she no longer needed. Hmm, I finished reading all these books. Choo Choo opened her toy cupboard. She saw that she had many toys that she no longer played with. Hmm, I'm too old for these toys now. Choo Choo began to wonder if she too should give her old toys and books away. Mom, Miss Dorothy is collecting old toys and books for some children who live in a foster home. She says that they will make the children who live there very happy. Can I give away some of my old toys and books too? Yes, Choo Choo. I think you should. In fact, why don't you give away all the toys and books you no longer use? It will make those children very happy. So, Choo Choo packed all her old toys and books. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. It was fun playing with you all. But you must make someone else happy now. The next day, Choo Choo took the old toys and books to school. 
many other children had also brought their old toys and books. They gave them to Miss Dorothy, and she put them in some big boxes. When the boxes were full, Miss Dorothy picked them up and got ready to go to the foster home. She invited Choo Choo and her friends to join her. Come on, children, let's go to the foster home and give your toys and books away. There were many children in the foster home. And they were very happy to see the boxes. Hi, children. These toys and books are for you. My little friends want to share them with you. Yay! Hooray! The children at the foster home were very happy. They thanked Choo Choo and her friends. Thank you! Thank you for sharing your toys and books with us. You're welcome. The children at the foster home were very excited to receive the toys and books. started playing and reading immediately. Choo Choo was surprised to see how happy her old toys and books were making the children. My teddy bear is making this little girl so happy. I wish I had given it to her earlier. And that little boy is smiling while reading my favorite book. Just like I used to. Choo Choo and her friends then thanked Miss Dorothy. Thank you, Miss Dorothy. You helped us make so many children happy. And you also made sure we weren't wasting our toys. You're welcome, children. You must always remember not to waste anything. Some of the things that you no longer need or use can make others very happy. From that day on, Choo Choo never hesitated to give her old toys and things away. For she now knew how much joy they brought when she shared them. Chico was a very timid boy. He was afraid to try new things. His sister Chiku always encouraged Chika. Chiku, please wash your hands with plenty of soap and water. That's the best way to keep them clean. Kusli was a careless little boy who always wasted things. Kusli always wasted food. She saw her mother working there. Oh, look at mother. She looks so tired. 